Hi, Joan Hyman here, and I'm with Sarah Help, and I want to talk about the back leg in Trikonasana and Ardha Chandrasana and show you um, a technique to get people to bring more awareness into the back leg during these poses. So Sarah, go ahead and step into the middle of the mat, bring your feet together. So we'll start in Tadasana. Okay, now bend your knees, touch your fingertips, and jump your feet wide apart. All right, good. So Utita Trikonasana to the right. Turn your right leg to the right. Angle your back foot a little. Okay, now just pause here for a moment. So as she exhales, the top of this right thigh descends. Now a lot of times, go ahead and put your hand on the block. As the right thigh cuts back, a lot of times this left hip pokes out. And so you lose the pelvic floor, and I can see there's a back bend here. So firm your outer left hip in. Can you see how that just lift? It lifts up the pelvis and it lifts the belly off the leg. Okay, and then continue to pull up strongly through the inner leg. So it's important to note that the back leg is on Tadasana. And the way you can check is by rolling the left inner groin back. And it'll allow this left hip to come along for the ride. Okay, now keep this area engaged. And so Ardha Chandrasana is the next step of Trikonasana. Put your left hand on your hip, bend your front leg, and inhale, take the block with you, Ardha Chandrasana. Now, a lot of times this back leg goes into a back bend. So if, yeah, you can see how the pelvis is pitched. So I'm going to bring the heel a little forward so it aligns with the sitting bone. And she's really open, so she has a, ten a tendency to stack the hips. So push your ankle into, my, uh, into the block right here. Yeah, so you're actually going to karate chop the block. And you can see as she does that, she's working that glute knee, that outer thigh. Okay, now roll your right hip into the midline. Uh, go the other way. So try to bring more weight to the inside of the foot. Good. Now as you press the ankle into the block, lift the frontal hip bones towards your head. There you go. Now go ahead and take the top arm up and continue to extend the torso out of the pelvis. Nice. Okay, and then when you leave them, you just go slow. So they're able to find that work on their own. And then go ahead and come back to triangle pose. Good job, Sarah. Now, as she comes in the triangle pose, continue to firm this whole outer left leg in, and you want to wrap this right buttock towards the back leg. Okay, now pushing strongly through your back foot, inhale, come all the way up, and then go ahead, feet parallel, and step your feet together. Okay? So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave it below. Namaste. <laughs>